Hey guys, it's the Real China Sister. I'm back with another video. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. I hope that everyone is staying safe in their house and away from all the madness that's going on outside right now with the coronavirus and quarantine and just everything has just been crazy lately. Today's video is gonna be a little different. Today will be a story time as you can see from my title. I'm gonna be telling you guys about a crazy weird psycho-like date experience I had being on Tinder. Now, I personally feel like everybody has used Tinder at one point. I'm not ashamed to say I had hopped on Tinder before just to see like what the hype is about and what everybody's talking about with it. Honestly, there's no hype behind it at all. You know, but at the time with being single and all, I was like, let me just hop on this and see what my options may be. You never know. You no, know, I'm sitting there thinking I might meet my future husband. I might meet somebody that looked like Morris Chestnut or Idris Elba. Wrong -o. So this was maybe like three years ago, maybe when I tried this Tinder thing. Um, I want to say three or four years ago that this happened because I was in college at the time. So I was home. I it was summertime. I was home and I met this guy on Tinder. So he was okay looking. He had a good job. Um, his profile, he wrote in his bio, it seemed like he was headed in the right direction in life or he was looking for the same things I was looking for. You know, he wasn't looking for a casual relationship or Netflix and chill buddy. So I was like, okay, let me wait and see if he messages me or whatever and then I'll talk to him. So, you know, he winded up messaging me like a few minutes after we had swiped right for each other. We started talking, having some conversation, talking about like, oh, like our character traits and stuff like that, what we're looking for blah blah whatever the case may be um it seemed like we were like on the same page in terms of that so then he's like okay well like I'm not doing anything today like do you want to do something or like go out somewhere and I wasn't doing anything so I was like okay cool um we can go meet at the mall you know when I'm meeting with somebody for the first time I like to go to public settings because like you know People are strangers at the end of the day, you know, you never know what they're capable of. So it's like, let's just go in public setting and get to know each other. So he was cool with meeting up at the mall. We decided to go to this mall in New Jersey. Um, and that was cool. But then he started messaging me about, oh, he'll come and pick me up like from my house so that we can go to the mall. And I had told him like, oh, it's cool. You know, I have my own car. Like I could drive there myself. Like it wasn't a nothing against him but once again he's a stranger and I don't know him he's a grown man he was a little older than me you know he's a grown man you know I'm a woman I'm kind of small so no I don't want somebody I just met knowing my address and where I live at and all of that so instead of accepting the fact that I wanted to drive myself to the mall and meet him there he tries to push again for no it's really okay like I'll come get you like it's not a big deal and I told him I appreciate that <laughs> but you know we just met I kind of don't know you like that yet and I could just meet you at the mall. It's not a big deal. When I tell y'all this guy argued with me for like 30 to 45 minutes about not being able to pick me up. Like, I wish I had the receipts and the text messages to show y'all. He was really sitting there going back and forth with me mad because I didn't want him picking me up from my house. But like, I'm a girl. Like, I don't want strangers around my house. Like, I don't even know you. Like, you're a stranger that I met that I'm agreeing to meet in a public setting. You don't need to know where I live at. I should have knew right there that he was a psycho. I, I should have ended the conversation that like I should have ended the conversation then. The person I am now would have blocked him, would have stopped speaking to him, whatever. But back then, you know, I was dating and I was seeing just seeing what's out there. I should have stopped speaking to him, but I didn't. You know, okay, so after that conversation, he finally accepted the fact of okay, Shorty really don't want me coming to get her. So he accepted the fact that I'm like, y'all meet you over there. So instead of paying attention to the major red flag of him being argumentative about needing to know where I live at, I decided to still go on this mall date. So I drove over to the mall. Um, we met in like one of those big stores, like it was either a Macy's or a Lord and Taylor's. I really don't remember, but I, he needed an outfit for something. I really don't remember, but that's why we went there. So I go there and I really don't remember if he was there first and I saw him or I was there first and he saw me. I just remember our encounter. I remember when I saw him and I was like, what the fuck? Like, I still remember how uncomfortable I was just being in his presence. Like, it's not, he looked exactly like his profile. It wasn't even like a, oh, he catfished me or something like that. He was just weird as hell. Like, I don't know, something with his character was off. It made me uncomfortable. I'm just like, 
what the fuck is wrong with him? Like, honestly. You no, know, and anybody that knows me, they know that I love tall men. But it's like, you know, I'm tiny, you tall, and you weird. And the whole thing was just throwing me off and I wasn't feeling it. So when he went in the dressing room to um try on whatever outfit it was he was looking for, you know the clothing racks in the mall, like in the stores that go like in a circle? I'm small. So I went and I hid in one of them and I called my mom. <laughs> I dead called my mom and I'm like, mom, because she knew I was going on a date. I always tell my mom like where I'm going. I called my mom. I'm like, mom, yo, he's weird as hell. Like, I don't want to be around him. Like, he's weird. And she said, well, leave. So when he was in the dressing room still, I ran out of there. I ran out of that mall and I did not look back. I didn't even think twice about it. He was just weird. I'm sorry. And I don't do things like that to people normally, but like. He was just giving me the weirdest vibe. Like, he was giving me serial killer vibes. Like, he's going to drag me off into the woods or something. Like, I'm dead serious. And I'm not even that type of person to label people like that. But I didn't like the vibe he was giving me. That's like the weirdest Tinder date I've ever been on. And the weird thing about it is, he wasn't from the same area of New Jersey as me. But one time, like a week later, when I was getting off the bus from work to like walk home, he was on the same bus as me. I thought that was so freaking weird. I mean, I never saw him again after that. I never heard from him again. I mean, I blocked him. So there was no way for me to hear from him ever again. It's not like he had my social media or anything. He only had my number. Anybody knows me knows I change my number like every 10 days because somebody's always being a psychopath with me. But um, <laughs> I never saw him again, never heard from him again, which was a great thing because he was crazy. That's like my weird Tinder date story. Um nothing super crazy i know there's people out here that have been through way worse with people that they've met on tinder i've been through stuff with people on tinder that i was actually sitting there talking to but this was like a first date okay this guy's weird i'm never seeing him again type thing that i've had that's like the first time that's ever happened to me if there's any other story times you guys would like to hear about regarding me then i will definitely do them um please make sure that they're like appropriate like nothing that's just too raunchy for me to be talking about on here um make sure you guys subscribe to my channel like this video and comment below see you guys soon